Hey guys, um, so today I had to get a new blood pressure cup because my old one finally bit the dust and broke. Um, and my insurance was like, well that's fine, um, you can get a new one, just make sure you get a prescription. So I went out, I got my prescription, and my doctor recommended that I get an Omron blood pressure monitor, the 7 series, in the wrist. So the reason that I get the wrist ones is because my upper arms have a tendency to, like, if anything is pushing too hard on them, clothing, whatever, they'll just stop pumping blood to, like, my hands. So that's a problem. Um, and then, like, my whole hand goes numb. It's really not good. So um, the wrist one was a better option for me. Um, and it's easier to use just for my, like, mobility level. So um, I'm going to open this up, and we are going to take a look at it. If we go to open the box here, looks like it's taped shut over here. So, so it looks like that is everything that's inside the box. So here is the monitor right there inside the little case. And then over here we've got a quick start guide, um, like a stop sign that just tells you like, hey, we're here to help. If you're having issues, please call us. This is like the full big instruction booklet. And this is to register our product, which I'm definitely going to do because I always forget to register products, but this time I'm not going to forget. That's right there. So let's start with taking a look at this really quick. So it looks like this is just kind of a big book that tells you like everything about what to do. It tells you like where, you know, the monitor height gives you a good idea of like where to have things, how to sit, that kind of stuff. And then the quick start guide over here should give us a quick way to start doing this. So first it tells us we need to download the app, so let's go do that. next step on here is to install the batteries, so we're gonna do that now. I might need two hands to do it though, so just give me one second. Okay, so I put the batteries in, and now it has a bunch of numbers on it. Oh, the numbers went away. 
So the next thing is pair your smart device. So enable Bluetooth on my smartphone, which always is enabled. And then we're gonna connect it, it looks like. Follow the instructions on the app. Okay, so I'm not going to actually take my blood pressure yet, but I just wanted to start it and make sure that everything is working. It's a zero, so I wonder if maybe it can tell that I'm not inside. Weird. Okay, let's try it again. Just a second. So, sorry for the weird angle. Um, just going to put it on real quick. And try it and just make sure that the thing is working um, like it's turning on and stuff so we're gonna start it's silent How does it do that? It's silent entirely. Like it's working. But it's it's completely silent. That's crazy. My old one was so annoyingly loud. I don't know when it's done. I think it had an error or something. I don't know what I'm doing. So then I guess I don't really know what to do next. It worked, but now what do I do? So I applied it, I positioned the cuff, wrapped the cuff, took a measurement, opened the app on the smartphone and follow instructions. Okay. Now it's telling me I can't find the monitor. Ugh. Transfer recordings, put it in transfer mode. So press the time button. Okay, so I put it in time mode. Now it looks like it's maybe transferring. You can hear Arlo over there, sorry. He is munching on one of his birthday antlers. Still can't find the monitor, what the heck? So, I mean, it's right here. So I guess I'll press the Bluetooth button on the back. I guess I don't know how to put it in transfer mode. I don't know. It doesn't really tell me. I've pressed... Mine doesn't have that middle button. Mine has the two outside buttons. So I've pressed those two buttons and nothing has happened. Um, and I've held them as well and nothing has happened still. So I guess I'm going to have to screw around with it for a little bit. Yay. Okay, so I finally got it to transfer. So we've got one little dot on there. Um, so basically it looks like you can separate them by um, hour, day, week, month, and year. Um, and then it'll just have the um, different blood pressures on there. The nice thing about this app is you can use it for other things like EK, live EKGs, resting heart rate, weight, and medication tracking. 
So um, my hope is to use it for weight, um, at least because the other ones are like premium features. So, but yeah, so that is the first one on there. So that is how you set it up. Um, basically it looked like all I had to do was I pressed the button and it said, even when it said that they had failed, it still worked. So, I don't know. I'll mess with around with it a little bit more. If I see anything, like, really crazy, I will obviously make another video. But, yeah, there is that. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in whatever I make next.